Orkney is hugely important to Historic Environment Scotland. We have 38 sites on these islands that we are responsible for. That's over 10% of the entire estate. So it's hugely important in numbers terms, but it's hugely important because of the sites we have here. We are in a World Heritage Site. Uh, there are four sites within that area. So it's hugely important for a whole number of reasons. And we think it's important, but visitors think it is as well. And last year, 150,000 people came to visit our sites here on the island. This year already, we're close to that number. This is one of uh, a number of visits that the board is making to different parts of uh, Scotland. Here in Orkney, we're taking the opportunity to do a number of things. We spent some time discussing with local archaeologists what's happening here, um, including the new recent digs at Ness of Brodgar, but all the other archaeological work that's been going on here over many years and continues uh, to happen. We've met with partners and stakeholders, and a really important part of our work here is working with Orton Islands Council and many others to take forward a collective joined up approach to the tourism opportunities and addressing some of the tourism challenges. We're visiting some of our sites, we've been to Mays Howe and tried out the new bus service and had that first hand experience. We've been to Ringo Brodger and had the outstanding tour from Elaine and Sandra our Rangers which was fantastic and here we are at Scarabray. But we're not just looking at our own sites, we spent the morning on Hoy visiting the Scapa Flow Visitor Centre which Historic Environment Scotland will be assisting by way of a grant towards the renovation and expansion of that project. And last but not least, and definitely not least, spending time with our own staff. We employ close to 50 people here in Orkney and it's important we actually spend some time with them, sharing with them our thinking but more importantly listening to what they have to say to us because they're the people who live, work and, um, and breathe these islands. The future is incredibly exciting. I think that um, in some ways the world's focus is on Orkney and its archaeology. It, fe it feels like that anyway and working in partnership with Historic Environment Scotland and now seeing the board and talking about the future, you know it's just um, I think we have such great possibilities and prospects. We've uh, succeeded in working together on a vast range of project activities, the Stromlitz THI, the Kirtwell THI, many, many individual property projects, and uh, also looking very, very proud and pleased to have worked with Historic Environment Scotland to find a solution to the Maze Howe uh, access earlier this year, which was, I think, a fantastic example of two organisations working together with different assets and coming together to a very successful solution for the, for the community. I'm delighted this year because I think it's essential that the whole board really get a flavour of what they're discussing, not just to see the challenges but mostly to see the opportunities. I think if we pull together, I think we can preserve the monuments better, we can give a better interpretation to them, we can give a better visitor experience and actually give people something that they will go home and never forget in their life. There's no substitute for actually seeing um, in real life what we hear about in the office in Edinburgh. It's really important for the board to come and see uh, the properties um, in care that we look after, to see the archaeology and the support we give to meet our staff. And it's really a vitally important part of our work as a board. We take a number of things from visits like this. One is that what we do here and what our staff do here is outstandingly good and that's shown by the numbers of people who come and uh, visit. The second thing uh, we take is that we have a hugely important role to play, not just in our own sites, but contributing towards the wider tourism opportunity that Orkney has here. Uh, and the third thing is the plans that are on these islands for a, a refreshed strategy, a coordinated approach to tourism, we've got a hugely important uh, role to play contributing into that bigger picture, working in partnership with lots of people across these islands. So we've got a great story to tell here, our facilities are really good, we've got an even bigger role to play in helping take forward the tourism opportunities on these islands for many years to come.